welcome and welcome. I hope you had a pleasant weekend and you got time for self-care. Having looked back at what we discussed the last few sessions. Welcome to today because today and these next sessions we are going to look at resilience because we are living in challenging times and challenging times require us to build resilience. So if you have been building your resilience, good. If you haven't attended to that, then it's time to get down to finding out how we can build our resilience so that we can bounce but there's going to be a long time for us to be better. And to be better, we've got to bounce back in a way like never before. I believe in you and I know that if there's one thing that you're ready to do is to bounce back. Unless you have given up. If you have not given up, then this is right on time for you to bounce back and bounce back better. I hope you are ready for this time and I hope you are getting yourself ready for bouncing back because never has there been in history a time like this. And this time requires us to have new set of skills and those skills will help us to be better than we were before. My name is Winnie Kamuya, CEO International Renaissance Center, an international best-selling author, a speaker, and a coach. And today, I want to introduce resilience so that we can have some good deep dive into resilience as we become and prepare ourselves to be better move to the next level instead of looking at these challenging times as time to give up. And let's begin to look at re resilience so that we can accept and use that to bounce back better. So what is resilience? Resilience is the ability to anticipate a accommodate, recover from an event timely and efficiently. This may include preserving, restoring, improving the existing situations, structures, and functions. So what is resilience? Resilience is the ability to anticipate, absorb, and accommodate, recover from an event timely and efficiently. If we are going to bounce back, we have to respond to this that is happening to us timely. I know it's something we all didn't plan for. And because we didn't plan for, we have to respond timely. So when we look at resilience, then we know that we are going to respond to it timely and efficiently. And this is important because when we look at the things that are happening currently, we ask ourselves, are these things really what we expected? No. So how do we become timely and efficient in terms of responding to it so that our lives are brought back to what they ought to be, they become better and that we are better prepared to handle this? Really, this is something that is gonna be disturbing us if we don't act quickly, if we don't respond timely. And I wanted to share something that will help us to look through this untimely and see how we can efficiently respond to it. So let me share something that we can look at, discuss, and we can be able to start responding in a way that we ought to. So resilience, this is the person, the system or the process that is facing interaction. So 
In this case, this is us who are facing an interruption. So the next step is to understand what's interruption. So when we have this interruption, this is the disturbance. This is the shock or the stressor, the resilience to what? Right now, we are facing an interruption in our lives, situations that we didn't plan for. So if these situations are situations we didn't plan for, that they gave us shock, they are stressing us, what do we do then? Do we have the capacity to cope? This includes the exposure to an, in, to an issue, your sensitivity to it, and your capacity to adapt. Do you have the capacity to adapt? And that could be something you are asking yourself. Do I have the capacity to cope? And maybe that is why I'm very stressed and I doubt my ability to bounce back. So maybe your reaction will be, your reaction to the disturbance is an impulse to survive. I want to survive. I want to go through this. To survive and to cope, to recover, to learn and to transform. I want to survive, cope, recover, and learn and to transform. During this time, you are looking at how you will bounce back. Either you will recover, you will learn, and you will transform. If you're ready, that is. And also, your capacity to deal with an issue is with an issue forms your reaction to the, into the issue. Let me see. It influences your ability to bounce back. So are you prepared to transform? Are you prepared to learn? This time demands you to start learning, start adapting. If you are ready, if you are ready to adapt, then most likely you're going to bounce back because this is one time in your history, in your life, you are going to require to shift and you're going to require new skills, skills which you could have dropped, skills you could have been ignoring at this time, could be one time that you need to learn. So resilience, is a disturbance that brings some shock and that shock demands you to ask and find out if you have the capacity to cope. Because if you have the capacity to cope, then you'll be able to adapt. And then you'll be able to learn, bounce back. I believe that is very helpful for you to understand and to get to know more about yourself. So what does resilience do in that case if all of these things are happening to you? And when we look at all that, we begin to see one of the things is that resilience is important in our life. And why is it important in our lives? And I believe you've had a lot of situations which required you to build resilience. This time, it's something that will require, again, for you to build your resilience. Resilience is important because it improves the quality of your life. If you better understand yourself, in this case, like, how are you coping? Then you will be able to look at your physical, mental health because the stress brings all sorts of things to your life, stressing you physically, stressing you mentally, and actually making you feel like you can't manage. How do you do that? Resilient people are less likely to experience symptoms of anxiety and depression, and they manage most facets of their lives more efficiently. Why? Because they can adapt. I believe you can adapt. They say human beings are most adaptable beings. So if you are going to adapt, you need to know that resilience 
is the ability to understand and control your emotions. So if you can control your emotions, then you will know that during these trying times, you will be able to control your emotions and you need to do that. Resilience improves the ability to bounce back, to control what you can and to let go of the rest. So if you are going to bounce back, accept you are going to control what you can. What you can't control, you let go. Resilience is key to overcoming hardships in life, achieving goals and becoming strong and a resourceful person. We all face different situations that demand us to be resilient, and I believe you can be. So if you are going to develop resilience, I want you to think about these three things on your mindset. Your mindset will help you to build and develop resilience. One, it's when you are building resilience, and especially during this time, the one thing that you want to make sure is clear is understanding, number one. I look at three things here, understanding. Are you learning about the situation you are facing? First, you've got to understand what situation am I facing? That's number one, because once you know what you are facing, you are ready for the next two steps. Number two, managing. Learn how will I manage this situation? I'm facing this situation. Right now, a lot of us are facing a situation which is new. How are we going to manage? What are the new behaviors we need to learn? And what are the coping strategies we need at this moment? So we understand the situation and then we need to find out the new behaviors and the coping strategies we need at this time. And you will notice one of the things that is so key. Because of the physical and mental stresses that we have at this moment in time, self-care is important. If you missed the sessions I looked on self-care, go back and make sure you look at them. Self-care is one of the things that I consider very important in leadership because if you're going to lead, you have to have a lot of self-care for you because if you don't care for yourself, you might not be able to care for others. So the third one is growth. You have understood what's happening. You have looked at new behaviors you need to develop and the coping mechanism you need. Now, the next step is growth. Remember that when you understand, when you know what it is, and when you understand that you need to get into new behaviors, you are ready for growth. And growth begins when you experience, when, when the experience starts to shift your priorities. Now you understand that I need new behaviors. I need to change the way I do things. I need certain coping strategies. Now you know what's going on. You are learning how to manage and you are growing into, into the new reality. This time is when you expand yourself and you are building the skills that you need to cope. So important. I've said we are all going to need new skills to cope in this new time. If you haven't been building your skills during this time, you might find it challenging to bounce back because bouncing back means that the skills you're using before, they could be not effective. And the skills that you need now are different. You need to know which are these skills I need because those skills that you need will help you build the new behaviors within. And once you have those new behaviors, then you are ready to be able to cope with adjusting, adopting, transforming yourself. Growth is important. So the three things 
of the mindset that you need to developing re resilience is understanding, understand the situation, manage, manage the situation and growth. So those three things are important. And if you look at those three things, then there is definitely an opportunity for you to bounce back and bounce back, knowing that you are stronger, you are you have learned something that you need in your life and you can be able to adjust. So if that is good for you, then you will know that your mindset also will be affected in a way it's never been before. You might be more positive, looking at whatever issue it was and saying to yourself or accepting that you can overcome whatever it was and that means the strength the inner strength then is developed and it's better so other effects of building resilience because once you build resilience there are certain things that are going to happen within you a positive view of yourself yes you know when you know you believe in yourself you feel great feeling secure in your own strengths, skills, and the ability to cope with difficult situations. You know, when you trust yourself and believe in yourself and know that I have what it takes to face this situation, that's a great, great feeling. Being a strong communicator, being a strong problem solver, maintaining a never die attitude. No one wants to go into the battlefield feeling they are going to lose. And when you can face your, your greatest adversity or your greatest challenge or whatever is the issue that you have to face and you believe that you come out well, then you know that you have developed a never die attitude and you will be successful. Then a strong decision-making ability if you're going into a war and you believe that you're going to come back alive, that sends a strong message to your mind, your subconscious, your subconscious, which means that you're developing yourself in terms of decisions. I can do this and you go out and do it because that is something you want to achieve. The ability to put together plans and follow through. Okay, I've understood this is my situation. This is what is stressing me. I need new behaviors. I need coping strategies. And then the next thing, I'm growing. I'm transforming. I'm believing in myself. I'm making decisions. I can communicate what I am feeling. And then the ability to see the bigger picture. Resilience gives you and enables you to develop all those things. And you want to be one of the people who are resilient. I believe you do, because if you didn't, you wouldn't be here today. And because you believe that you are a resilient person, then you are successfully making progress to being better in facing your challenge or the issue you feel that is facing you right now. So those are things that we will be looking at more and to help you to become better, to prepare you to bounce back better, to help you lead in the coming season. Because when you bounce back, you are ready to lead. No one wants to lead when they doubt in themselves. You are not one of them and you will not be one of them. And thus, you are where you ought to be. And so, I believe that becoming resilient is one of the things that will bring you forth and it's one thing you want to have in your life. They say, Successful leaders are resilient because they face challenges each day. And if they do, then 
they know what to do. Because when you face an issue right now, in the future when it comes up, you have already built the strength, you know what to do, and you will do it, and you will overcome. I believe in you, and I know. In the coming sessions, as you look at resilience and building resilience in you, I believe that you will become better and you will be ready to bounce back in a way you've never. And people will wonder what happened. But you know what? When you're taking action, something is happening. If you're not taking action, nothing happens. You are taking action. And I believe if you are taking action, you are in the right place. Until next time, thank you so much for joining me, for being ready to bounce back better. And thank you for making yourself available and ready to change. If you give yourself permission, you are ready to transform and you're ready to inspire others in the world. It makes a great difference that you are ready to be resilient. And because of you, others will become resilient too. Until next session, I will see you. And I believe that you will leave your comments and feedback below. And today, as you begin to think about what is the situation? You know that you are going to have to change some of your behaviors for you to cope. You know, and you are ready to grow. You are in the right place. I believe and I trust that you're doing what you ought to do. And until next time, it's a goodbye for now. And thank you for joining me. Thank you.